Kia ora, my name is Victor Te Pā, uh, also Victor Te Kutukuwafu, ngā puhi tai tokerau, uh, kahungunu, tūwharetua and tonga, uh, which island I'm from is Eua. My disciplines are painting, illustration and tāmoko. The easy way is to do what everyone else is doing, that's the easy way, and that's cool, yeah, nothing wrong with that. But I always look for another way to do it, because it's, it's more rewarding, and it's more of an adventure, it's like you're going off the other, you know, unbeaten track. So you've got to cut down the, the flax, you know, you've got to cut down the trees in that path, and that's what happens, you hit all these little things along the way, but each sort of obstacle you hit teaches you something new. You're sort of blind, you're feeling your way. You know, because you don't know anything really. But if you're good at anything, if you're, if you know, you, you're drawing and you're good at sketching with pens, just keep doing that and get better at that. And then look around for the next step and be open to like, because there is no set course. There is no real from A to B. It's like there's no straight line. It's all like this. You know, so just be open to the process of where you are is where you're supposed to be and what you're learning is what you're supposed to know. And the other thing too, when you get to a certain point, sort of got to decide what it is you're doing. Yeah, it's like with Polytech, when I was at Polytech, first year, explore clay, wood, printing, drawing, charcoal, you know, and I didn't want to do any of that. I just wanted to do comic art, but I had to do them because, you know, but now I look back later, I'm glad I did because I understand them. Um, but then in the second year, you start doing less, and the same within life, you start doing less things, and then by the third year, I just fully directed myself at one thing and that was just three-dimensional illustration. Now people say, oh, you gotta have that drive. Not necessarily, I think it's more curiosity. And the drive will come later. You know, when you're drawing enough and you're doing enough, it starts to turn you on, eh? And you start, the fire comes from that. And then after a while, you don't need to light it because it's always lit, you know? It's just part of you now. But it's just those stages, it's like blowing the flames of a fire. It starts as embers, there's nothing there. But then you see an orange, you know, when you're starting a fire, you're like, oh, oh, well, here we go. Start blowing little little bits, just small bits, and then you blow, it gets bigger, bigger wood, until finally, logs, you know? Because you're gonna handle different weight as you go through. You're not ready for the logs. You know, that's what happened to me. I was going, I wanna do Michelangelo. They go, yeah, jump in there, as my teacher says. I got in there and I couldn't even paint a face. And then I stood back and it was terrible, eh? Then I went, oh, yeah, I'm not Michelangelo. I'm getting the heartbreak. Come back here, you know. But in that laughing, in that laughing like that, I'm thinking, okay, yeah, I want this because I can't get it. I can't get it, but I know I want that. So it was just that lock in, whatever art form it is, if it makes you happy, just lock in. You know eventually you will get there. Yeah, I do have barriers. There's a lot of barriers and they all come in different forms. Um, the normal one is what people say, you know. So it's not listening to other opinions because opinions are everywhere. So you know, you get some, my, my favorite one is when people tell me I can't do something. It's my favorite, because then I'm gonna do it, you know? It's just a natural part. You know, someone goes, you can't do that because it's this and it's this. And I'll hear them, like I said, you know, I listen to every, everything that's said. But I'll listen to that and I'll take it into consideration. But if I'm feeling it, I know for me personally, just my own thing, I, I feel it's always right. And most of the things I have done that have challenged people and you know, it's really, it can hit some people in different ways. Um, have ended up being probably my most successful work, I guess. I still do old school painting, you know, I love painting. That's what I sort of set out to do was become a painter. But then doing all of those processes, it takes a long time. <clears throat> it takes hours. And then I come across this thing called the iPad. I started realizing, hang on a second, you know, there's easier ways, quicker ways, and sometimes in terms of it was more effective in, in other ways. I, then I realized you could take photos of my actual artwork. These are unfinished drawings. This is what I felt really cool. Because these unfinished drawings sat there because I, I had to make sure I knew which choice to make first because it's all one hit. But when you put it on an iPad, you got a thousand hits. So then I could also duplicate and come up with several ideas at once. So it was, I had a gallery in front of me, right? So you know, that, that was it, so I love the iPad. It, yeah, gave me far more freedom and my creativity now in terms of like pushing ideas I can.